Hello people! Yes, I'm back again after my latest disaster of a video. Ready to bring you yet another let's play of a demo disc. Yes, this time, naturally, after number 95 comes number 96. And, well, no one's doing any videos of this. So I figured, you know, it is up to me to do this one for now at least. Until someone else bothers. So yes, this is the official UK PlayStation Magazine demo disc number 96. And, uh, well, pretty cool looking interface, as we said. I you know, so it looks different to the ones I've seen before. And, uh, <laughs> you can always tell we have some really good games on here, don't we? So yeah, we've got Cricket 2000. We have got Dance Stage Party Edition, yet again. Future Cop LAPD 2100. That's weird, I've got this game, it just says Future Cop LAPD on the cover, so whatever. Incredible Crisis, Judge Dredd, Mission Impossible, Sledstorm, Tenchu 2, Boogie Wonderland, again, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, and Downloader. So I'll start with Cricket 2000. I hope I don't have to play this one, because I can tell you right now, I do not like Cricket. I don't love it either. <laughs> so yeah, if... Actually, no. I, actually, I remember yeah, there was another demo. Uh, that PSXU actually did an LP on, which I think I think it was Demo 67, if I remember correctly. And yeah, this game was on it, and I remember there was an option to just spectate the game. And I can tell you right now, I really do not want to play this one. I mean, maybe if I play Demo 67, I'll play it, but you know, after the you know, after failing miserably at that other like you know, ISS game last time around, I don't think I really want to play a sports game. Uh, quick start, sure. I'm guessing that's default. So, yeah. I, yeah, I think I'm just going to spectate for this one because, you know, frankly, it's a lot more watchable just to watch me watching a cricket match than it is to watch me fail at a cricket match for about two minutes and then quit out of it out of boredom. <laughs> oh, it's pretty sad that I'm, ha that I'm the one having to do these videos for now. You know, I mean... I really hope someone else does these videos later on so they could do more better justice to these demos than I can with my lack of ability to play video games. But uh what's funny about this disc though is like the real disparity between like the really good games and the really terrible games. I mean because I mean there's one really awesome game coming up later on. Um and if you've played it you'll know which one I'm talking about. And then you've got this. <laughs> it's like I don't understand, why did they decide to reuse this game out of all the games that could have possibly reused? It seems kind of weird to me. I mean, why would you reuse a cricket game? I don't understand that. I mean, it, like, they haven't even started playing yet. It's taken them, like, half an hour just to actually start the friggin' match. It's ridiculous. It's like, I mean, I'd try, I mean, I would try skipping this, but I'd probably go back to the menu if I do that. It wouldn't surprise me anyway, because that's what happens with like half these demos, where if you just try to watch like the rolling demo, you press the button and it just goes back to the main menu. But you know what? I've got some chocolate right here, I can just sit back and just watch this for the next 15 minutes. And you know what? Like I said, I really don't feel like playing a sports game right now, unless, you know, if I have the option anyway. So, let's see where this happens. I assume England are going to get bowled out for zero, but uh, who knows. <laughs> Why is those voice samples? Just, yes! It's like, did they really say that like an actual cricket match? Oh, to be honest, I have no idea, because I've never watched cricket on TV. It's like, it's like, like, who even watches cricket on TV? I mean, it's like, hell, I'm English, and even I'm the one asking that. It's like... I was slamming some chocolate. I mean, the thing is, I really don't understand why you would televise cricket. Because this is probably one of the most boring sports that you could possibly televise. Because, because, okay, let me, let me explain. Like, this is basically like baseball, only like ten times more boring. Because at least baseball matches are relatively short, so you have the last like a couple of hours, maybe. Whereas in this... Oh, okay, something actually happened. But yeah, it's like, um... 
I was just saying. Yeah, it's like, the, the way cricket works is, you can have matches that literally last for like five days. It's like, who the hell is going to watch a match for a sport that where the match will last like five days? It makes no sense. I mean, you know. Pe I mean, there are people that are criticized, like people that watch like football or whatever. At least football matches only last for like 90 minutes. <laughs> okay, at least it's over relatively quickly. Okay, I mean, I'm not a big fan of watching pretty much any sport on TV. But there are certain sports where I couldn't stand watching them on TV or, you know, watching them live or whatever, like professionally. But, that, but I mean, the sports like this and, you know, golf and bowls. I mean, seriously, who even watches bowls? I mean, it's like, okay, it's like you may as well just be watching, I don't know, you may as well just be watching me doing an LP. It just, it just it's exciting. Except at least I'm shouting half the time. Okay, you get it's more than what you gain bowls. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a good thing <laughs> for bowls. That is, you so they just have some random, you know, some random English getting his twenties yell at random stuff. And of course, an Englishman is out for less than six. What well, a surprise! He lied. See, I know. Thing is, I know enough about cricket to know that the England team sucks. But then again, I mean, you could say that about any sport. Okay, like, oh, okay, the end. But it's like, like I was saying, like, you could say that about any sport, the England team sucks. Okay, like, when's the last time England won a football World Cup? Oh, yeah, 1966, which was, uh, oh, no, 48 years ago. I mean, hell, they probably play just as badly at the World Cup as I do at ISS Pro Evolution 2. And if you saw my last video, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, downstage party edition. I'm willing to bet this is the same demo that was on, like, uh, you know, a couple of other demos that I looked at. Because this was on 94, and it was also on 91. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I hope there's, like, a new song on here, but I seriously doubt it. And, well, I remember I didn't have to replace the first song I played, at least. I haven't checked the second one yet, but uh, we'll have a look at that later on, I suppose. Well, I mean, I'll have a look at that, because, you know, I'm the one editing the videos and you know, uploading them and all that. You don't have to worry about that part. Trust me, if I don't want to do these videos, I wouldn't even bother. Uh, but, yeah. See, I'll play as these two, so I'll just go with... It looks like blue. Let's go with this guy. Because, whatever. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, it's the same two songs that won the other demos, so... Yeah. So let's just see what this is like. See if I could do better than I did last time I played the song. So I remember I did better than last time I played this at least. But let's have a look. Oh yes, trying to commentate over dance games isn't really the easiest thing to do, let me tell you now. Because it's like you really are concentrating on what's happening on screen, like more so than most other games. At least in my opinion. I mean, Mel Gear Solid is just all around. Oh no. Then again, I'm not very good at Mel Gear Solid anyway. Yeah. So I'm just letting you listen to this wonderful song. Unless, of course, I'm having to replace it, which I don't think I should, because, I mean. Okay, yeah, this is definitely harder than the other song. So, like the way the time works. Yeah. I'm gonna search right now, this is definitely harder than the other song. Like, see what we got to see on this last time. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, hey, we're supposed to get all this stuff. As you can tell, I kind of sucked there. I don't really care, though. So it's all I can really get this game anyway, so... Meh. <laughs> so, yeah. And, yeah, C again. Well, not really surprised there. Uh, I mean, how do you even get an A in this? You just have to, like, hit everything perfectly or something? I don't know. Yeah, let's just move on to the next game. Because the next game is really awesome, as you will see. 
want to get to it anyway. When it says start up, uh, yeah, here we go. Future Cop LAPD. I know it says 2100 on the menu, but that's not what it says on the cover. Believe me, I have this game. And this game is awesome, as you will see. Uh, I don't... I think I did play this demo actually, like before, but I don't really remember it. I guess EA. <laughs> I'm gonna say right now, this is probably the best game that EA ever did, in my opinion. I mean, Road Rash was really good from what I remember, although it's been it since I played it. Uh, the PlayStation version, there, it's not the Mega Drive games. Uh, yeah, sure, let's just look at this stuff. I don't really felt naming myself. And Actually, this is kind of amusing, they don't tell you how to play in the demo. Not like it matters, because I mean, it's fairly easy to figure out how the controls work in this anyway. Ooh, okay, I've been selecting weapons. Uh, no, I don't want to go to ready. Uh, I'll go the minigun. Hmm. Now let's go for the missiles and shockwave generator, please. Okay, let's go. Because I'm gonna say something now. This is probably my single favorite game on the PS1. Like, just full stop. I mean, I don't care if you say like Final Fantasy VII or Metal Gear Solid. No, I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best game on the PS1. And you'll see what I mean. As you can see, because basically what this game is, it's about going around blowing up stuff. And that's why it's awesome. Yeah, eat this. I like how the entire city is just criminals. Kind of amuses me. So that goes down, I think. Nope, oh, okay. Oh, oh that's a time limit? That sucks. Oh well. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this in the time limit. I hope I can. But yeah, like I said, I've got this game, and this game is awesome. As you can see, I'm a bit rusty because I haven't played this in a while. But, yeah. Like I said, get this game if you can, is all I'm going to say. Because, like I said, this is my favourite game on the PS1. One of my favourite games just of all time, really. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, eat that. Ooh. Actually, I should show this off. Come to think of it. Yeah. You can transform into this thing. Because uh, you can't strafe as well with this one, which is why I tend to be in the uh, robot mode more. Actually, let me do that. Because I have an easier time controlling this thing. Yeah, there we go. So let's go through here. Uh, let's go down here, actually. Because I know it's going to be around this bit. But yeah, like I said, get this game. Simple as that. Because this game freaking rules. I might have to do an LP on this at some point. Oh, oh yeah. Action button, of course. Yeah, eat that. And as you can see, I mean, this is the whole game. It's just you go around, you blow up stuff, and you progress. I have to go with this. Got to jump over the mines. Yeah, like that. See, it works. Actually, let me do this again. So I'm easy time avoiding this stuff, I think. There we go. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard to convey how awesome this game is just from watching it. I mean, it's a game that you really have to play yourself. I mean,. You know, at the very least, get a demo that has this game on it, because, I mean, this is Demo 96. You might have trouble finding this one, because, you know, it's... Like, the high number of demos are harder to find, as far as I can tell. I mean, obviously, I was able to get this one, but still. But yeah, either get this, or get Demo... I think it was Demo 39 has this game as well. This has Spyro and Team Mode 3, I believe, which are also good games. Okay, let's do this. See that 
Yeah. You also know it's say you get limited ammo, but frankly, you get so much of it, it really doesn't make much of a difference in the case of this game. Okay. No, what the hell are you. No. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> I've got to like, press L1 and L1 at the same time to do that. And get rid of it from this bit. And. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, get for here then. Well, actually, oh, I know. Oh, I remember what you gotta do now. You gotta blow this finger. So let's do that. Eventually we'll blow up and... Well, actually I'll probably win out of time before it blows up. But whatever. But yeah, as you can see, actually you know, I'll slightly just do this. Yeah, so that blows up quicker apparently. Oh, okay. If... Okay, I don't think this is the exit. <laughs> Just call the hunch. Actually, where is the exit? I don't remember. Bugger. Uh, is it this? Intruder alert. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, I don't think I'm going to beat this in time. Kind of sucks that they have a time limit on this. Because, I mean, like I said, this is a really good game, and it kind of sucks that they have a time limit on the demo. So I kind of want to play for this whole level, really. Oh, well. And there we go, that's it. <laughs> kind of sucks that they have a time limit on it because, like I said, it's a really good game. And it really sucks when you get, like, really good games that have, like, sucky demos, like Gran Turismo, for instance, on the last demo I looked at. Like, it's a great game, but the demo for it sucked. Um, but yeah, anyway. Incredible Crisis. I've never played this game before, actually. Um, although, I have to say, I have been wanting to play this one. Uh, because I remember seeing this one before, and I know this is like some weird Japanese game. Actually, come to think of it, I think the local game shop, uh, and by local I mean like, you know, a few miles away, um, they actually have like, I think they have a copy of this like £7, something like that, I don't remember. I, I think it was like £7 or £6, I don't remember. Welcome to Incredible Crisis. Ooh, brilliant. So, how do you play this? I'm not sure. Ooh, okay. Good Pro Imperial Development Company. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I've seen this spot I've seen this game, but I've never played it. So I do want to see like what this is like. Ooh. So we gotta play this guy. He's gonna run away. Oh yes. I mean you can tell this game's weird just from looking at it. <laughs> Bowling Inferno? Okay, I have no idea what this is on about. Uh oh, okay. Uh distance me it turns red when with the X button. Make sure you have enough energy drink. Oh, well at least explain how to play it. Uh oh you can't pause the game, that kinda of sucks. Uh when running use up and down to avoid obstacles. Hmm, okay, that's weird. Oh, okay, I'm guessing like up is jump and down is duck, I assume. Let's have a look. Uh so we do this. I got him. This. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can tell I've never played this before. <laughs> well, at least you get to retry. So, this weird turns red. Run with. Actually, I'm not sure. Do you have to hold down the X button or do you have to mash it? I don't know. Uh, so, let's see. Actually, I want to see what happens when you do press up and down. I'm going to try this time around. Uh, okay, ready. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think I do match the X button. Oh! Hey, I made it! Nice. Oh, fuck it. Oh, yes. Okay, ooh! Oh! Oh, fuck it. Oh, and I messed it up again. Well, at least I actually know what I'm doing this time around. Uh, see if we, actually I want to see if we could do this, because this is a game I kind of want to get just because of how weird it is. It's like you know, <laughs> only in Japan is basically sum this game up. Let's see. And I think you do match the X button actually. I know it's like yeah, the energy drink thing right there. Oh. Yeah, I'm actually, I can actually, I actually figured out how to play this. 
It's like, it's like those hurdles games you get like, uh, you know. What was it? Oh, is that it? Okay, I guess I beat it. Uh, that was quick. Oh, oh wait, now we've got another bit. Elevator of Doom! It's like City of Doom. To be going down instead of up. Ooh, yes, I made it. Well, that guy made it, whoever. So that's what we got here. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, it's kind of screwed now. Just. Okay, so what do you gotta do here? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, break. Oh. Stop for the Kenry Zero. Uh, blooming case. Okay, I don't get this. Oh, so you just gotta press it like a billion times. Yeah. So I'm guessing if you get hit by the object, you lose. Oh. Oh, okay, that one's face through me apparently. Oh. Okay, I think I won. You, oh. Okay, I can't tell actually. This. <laughs> It's okay. Do I win or I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I think I did. Ha! Yeah, this is just game we match the X button. This game rocks the X button. Oh, oh, come on! I pressed the left, but it didn't do anything. Oh wait, no, I won. <sighs> See, is there another thing after this? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Oh, and now he's got to run away from this one again, I'm guessing. Presumably. Or he's just get crushed by one of the two. <laughs> oh, got that. It just, like, lands on top of it. It's just, like, it just stops and then... EXPLOSION! Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's go by stretching it. Oh, are you going to hospital or something? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Or some or well, whatever. Uh, oh! Let's see. You're done with the dismay, which is zero. Okay. Oh, I don't tell me it's gonna be. Oh, yo. wait, no. Yo. Yo. Oh. Well, this game is definitely weird, I can tell you about that right now. Oh, okay. Oh, controls like messed up. Oh. Boom. Oh. Actually, it's kind of hard to control, I'm just gonna say right now. It's like... Yeah, you might know, actually kind of like spaz out every now and then. It makes it kind of difficult to avoid the stuff. Oh. Ha! Imagine you have those shoot em ups where you have to like dodge them over stuff at once. Ha! You can't beat me, I'm the guy on the stretcher. Actually, I do wonder if I lose control because I like crash into the stuff, I'm not sure. Because it does say something like that. Or, well, no, it doesn't, because I kind of lost control there for a bit. So I guess it's just because I'm pressing the buttons too much, I think. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's a lot of distance on this actually. I also got like a thousand meters left. Um, I don't think there's a way to speed up the thing. Oh, let's try a car. Yo. Oh. Oh. Ooh, these swerving cars are getting in my way. Then again, you'd be swerving too if you saw a guy in a stretcher coming towards you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Ha! Oh, okay. Uh, can I make it? Actually, I think I might quit this one if I fail it because this one's taking quite a while to do. 
Oh, there we go. I made it somehow. I lose control that time, strangely enough. It's a really long straightaway, incidentally. You know, you suddenly get roads like this around here. I'll tell you about that right now. Oh. Oh, look at Oh, actually, I think I'm nearly done with this level at least. Actually, this demo's. Actually, this one's longer than I was expecting it to be, because like, I was expecting this to be just like the first mm -hmm. bit. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ha. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. But, I think I made it. Yeah. So we go, I made it to wherever I was supposed to make it to. I don't know. I guess we'll see here, I suppose. Oh, the globe scores in more tool. Help! <laughs> oh yes. And the planes go past a oh, crazy circle. Oh, what? Is that it or let's see? Oh, yeah, I've been there. So let's see. So I, apparently I got an A plus awesomeness. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that is it. Well I beat the demo at least. Uh of course I can't beat you know, unlike the other ones. Cause, then again, I mean I would have beaten the future cop LAP demo if they didn't have like a time limit or whatever. But you know. Um Yeah, so actually I don't remember what the other games were. I think Sled Storm's on this, what I call. Yeah. Oh yeah, George Dread. I remember this. I played this on another demo, and the acting on this is just uh, well, <laughs> you'll see in a bit. I mean, like people say, like the uh, let me tell you, also is the acting in this game will really make you appreciate the Salome movie. That's all I'm gonna say about this game. The cutscenes, that is. I mean, I don't remember if the game itself is any good, but as you can tell, it's a light gun game, so yeah. Oh no. I am God like gun. Oh, here we go. I want Dread. Dear Dread. Out our chances. You won't believe what happens next. We need more time. Come on. If I drop the candy wrapper, you believe it now? Come on in. Take me down, Sly. Already put 17 judges out of action. Overrun the place. Mr. Mayor. He's next. You got five minutes. Remember, I got enough firepower to take out fifty blocks. <laughs> We're working on his identity, sir. Nothing yet. Red. This is what we do. Can't give it a name. Trying to remember. Take out anything you can, Dread. You'll have to rearm as you progress. One of the judges reports a possible android activity. Then be careful. A number of justice personnel or citizens could still be in the building. <laughs> hey, brilliant. It's too much there. <laughs> brilliant special effects. <laughs> I love how he just looks like really pissed the whole time. Although I suppose I would be if I was in this world. Just like this whole world of really terrible acting. Yeah, I didn't realize Judge Dredd was Clint Eastwood's less talented brother. And, well, let's get into the actual game. But yeah, 
just go love the acting on that good scene. It's just it's brilliant. Uh, I don't remember how the controls work in this actually. I don't know which button shoots. Because I mean, I played this before in another demo. I think it was uh, actually you'll see pretty soon. Come to think of it, is it the X button to shoot? To shoot, I think. Okay, this is the X button. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. I want to reload. As I guess. Okay. And of course, this is one of those like FMV like in games as well. The problem I have with this is like it's kind of hard to tell like who's like who's an enemy and who's an ally until they start shooting at you. And that kind of sucks. It's like it's basically the only strategy that really works is to shoot the ones that have guns, and that's it. I mean, take so many shots as well. It's like they take like three or four shots to kill, from what I've noticed. Unless I'm just missing really badly or something, I don't know. Uh, I think it's like the ones that are yellow are innocent, and the ones that aren't are like. Can you get infinite ammo in this, I think? So up there, I shot him like three times and he didn't die. And, okay, apparently that's it. Yeah, whatever. It's like a game, so... I don't think it really matters about the gameplay, because... Well, let's face it. Pretty much all like gun games play the same. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, like, point blank, or if it's, like... You know, Duck Hunt, or this game. You know, it's just some of them are better acted than others, essentially. You know, it's like... This game's, like, really... That's like, it's basically just a typical light gun game with like hilariously bad cutscenes thrown in. That's what it feels like to me anyway, so I don't know. I can't really elaborate much on it anyway, so. Uh. What's it? Uh, uh. Mission Impossible. I've never played this game, so I don't know what this is like. Like, I've never played this. I might have played the demo, like, when I was a kid, but aside from that, I have not played this one. So I don't really know what to expect from this game. Well, apart from the fact that it's like based on Mission Impossible, but you know. You'd probably expect that from the title. Now, does this one even work? Or does it just crash? I don't know. I'll give it like another 15 seconds, I guess. Like, uh, yeah. So, how's the weather like where you're living? Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at starting conversations, as you can probably tell. And, uh,. Yeah, I don't think this is working, so I think I'm just going to reset it. If it doesn't work again, I'm just going to skip the game because, you know, if it doesn't work, then I can't really play it. And it's kind of pointless to keep retrying it like a million times. But hey, at least you get to see this screen again. Oh yes. Oh yes, license by and computer in Europe. As usual. I mean, so, I mean, so it could be licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment Oceania, is it? <sighs> or oh, whatever. Let's just start this one again. Try to see if we can get uh, Mission Impossible to actually work this time. Because I do wonder if this... I kind of wonder if this game's any good or not. Because like I said, I, I don't think I've played this one. I certainly don't remember it anyway. But let's see. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? This demo is lot, going a lot quicker than the last one, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Because, you know, I like to make shorter videos, if possible. Okay. Hmm. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I was kind of expecting, like, the Mission Impossible theme from, like, the movie or whatever. But apparently, we didn't step up whether this is. Actually, if it was the Mission Impossible theme, we'd probably have to replace it, so... It's probably just as well they didn't use it. At least not here, anyway. Okay. Boom! Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, that was just the intro. The, uh... Intro? What the hell am I about? Oh, that's just, like, the company thing. Usually company things don't really last that long. But whatever. Oh, okay, it does use the Mission Impossible theme. Never mind. 
So yeah, I'm probably going to have to replace this, I don't know. Although it's probably best I talk over it anyway, just, you know. Otherwise it's going to sound weird if I have to, like, you know, mute the thing. So yeah, I, I don't know if this is based on the film or the TV show, but, but I'm, I'm guessing this is based on the films. I could easily be wrong on that. But we'll see, I guess. I should probably listen to the song at the moment, really. Because, you know. Yes. Mission Impossible. Actually, you know what's funny is there was actually a Mission Impossible game on the NES. Which was actually pretty good from what I remember. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be any good. Because, like I said, never played it. But I'll see, I suppose. Assuming it works. Okay, what is this? this... Okay, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what's happening there. Oh, okay. This looks different. <laughs> Just some random base in Siberia. <laughs> North of 70 barrel. Well. Uh, oh. Okay, so what is this like? Uh, so we'll look at the controls on this, because... I don't know what the controls are for this game. Okay, I don't think there is. That kind of sucks. Uh, how do you answer the phone in this? I have no idea. Oh, well, maybe you're not supposed to answer the phone. I don't know. Got that. <laughs> Got that Georgesons, by the way. You think they'd at least make it black so it doesn't look so obvious? Okay, how do we go up here? Okay, X button. So that's what we do. Actually, I get the feeling this is probably going to be like Metal Gear Solid or something. So I can tell, like, like, the radar up on the top. Up on the top. Yeah. I get the feeling there's probably someone over there. But, uh, so. Is there a way to duck in this game? Because, I mean, Metal Gear Solid is the X button. Okay, Circle Button does it here. I mean, I'm assuming this is like Metal Gear Solid, because, I mean. I mean, I think this game is from like 1999, so, you know, Love Your Side was like the big thing at the time. I mean, well, I said that, it's still one of the big things today, so. Okay, here you select the weapons in here. Because I don't want to use my fists, it's just. Yeah, you know, I'd rather use a gun if possible. And, of course, I can't look around to see where the enemy is, because it just doesn't let me. Okay. Yeah, great disguise right here. <laughs> okay, how do I use my weapons? Because I, I can't even, like... Because it won't even let me switch to my gun. Like, it just has, like, like my fists. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, how do you shoot in this? Actually, that reminds me of... It reminds me, it reminds me more of Golden 007 rather than Melchior Souls, come to think of it. Okay, so I've got past that. Actually, for some reason, the actual, like, this map kind of reminds me of Time Splitters for some reason. Like, the first one, that wasn't really as good. Okay, so... Okay, so you press triangle to switch weapons. I've only got, like, one bullet left. I mean, I don't think you can... You certainly can't get any from the enemies, because they just disappear when you die, which sucks. And I... Is it weird look at... Yeah. Objective, let's see what's here. Change identity, find excuse for errand. Get some pen. Okay, I don't really. I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, maybe if I looked at the little intro thing, maybe I'll know. Can you just climb this wall? Apparently not, because it won't let me get up there. And I don't think I can get in the truck, but let's try anyway. <laughs> No, I don't think you can, that kind of sucks. Okay, so square button, I think, is the attack button. This one just looks around. Uh, okay, L2 apparently doesn't seem to do anything, as far as I can tell. Or maybe it's still like... I don't know. I mean, R2 button just sort of looks around. So it does this. So yeah, I think this is supposed to be like Metal Gear Solid Cross with like Golden 007, I think. So it kind of feels like, anyway. Yeah, I don't get this though, like, you can, like, 
do you can like crouch but you can't walk around while crouched it just it just like gets back up again which kind of sucks because I mean if this is a game where you meant to sneak around that's just kind of stupid oh wait no L2 changed the camera I thought it <laughs> oh it did nothing but apparently not okay I don't know what the thing with the phone is about I mean it says I got like a message I think I guess that's definitely what it looks like on the thing but I don't know how to access it unless I mean maybe it's a select button but I don't know. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's just telling you to like look at the menu here. I have no idea. Uh, communicator. Okay, whatever. Uh, team. Okay. Okay, so it's just... Oh, it, it just tells you the characters. Fair enough. Uh, so what am I supposed to do at this point? I have no idea. It looks, I swear it looks like on there, it says like a like text message, but it's like, I don't really understand that. So, can I get in this place, or, no, I don't think I can. I don't know what I'm doing here. As you can probably tell, by the fact that I'm failing miserably at this. And I can, actually, no, I can see there's a guy over there. And I think he's probably spotted me, actually. But I don't get, oh, actually I get the feeling that. The, uh, the dot on the map is probably where I'm supposed to go to. Because, yeah. Because, I mean, I killed a couple of guys earlier and they, I don't think they showed up on the radar at all. So, what am I... So, am I supposed to just get to this house, I think? Presumably. Yeah, here we go. Hey, I actually did something. Nice. Okay, what's going on? I can only assume there's meant to be, like, speech here, but, I mean, they're, they're not saying anything, so, oh, don't tell me this is going to be, like, Hogs of War, where it's supposed to be, like, voice samples, but there isn't anything, because, yeah, that's what happened with that game, and, I think it happened with Sparrow 3 as well, didn't it? So, what am I supposed to do now? Because, there's, now there's no dot on the map at all. Uh... Okay. Do I just press... No. So I was thinking maybe I'm supposed to... <laughs> Actually, I wonder what happens if I try to beat this guy up. I want to say. <laughs> okay, well, killed him. Can I use his computer? Okay. I'll be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing in this one. Oh, bugger. Great. So, apparently I lost. That's brilliant. Uh, this... Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing this is supposed to be like the game over screen or something. That's kind of pointless. I also notice like the little thing there at the bottom. I don't know if that. I'm guessing that's like the time limit. But obviously I lost pretty quickly, so I don't think it really matters. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'd be a good game if I knew how to play it, but I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh. Sled Storm. Now this, now I've got this game. This is actually quite a good game because it's like a racing game with like uh, you know motorized sleds or whatever they're called. And I quite I like this one because um, you know cause I like racing games, and this is definitely one of the more distinct ones, simply because you know you're on like a yeah you're on like a sled and you can like do like tricks and stuff in the air. Uh, I hope. Oh, don't tell me this one doesn't work. No, I want to play this one. Oh, wait, here we go. Nice. Okay, there's a little bit of a glitchy thing at the bottom. <laughs> this is like the other really good. I think this is like the other really good, like, game that EA did for the PS1, I think. Apart from, like, Road Rash. And maybe Need for Speed? I've never played Need for Speed, to be honest, so I don't know. Uh, okay, you played multiplayer. Okay, so we've got Tracy, J. Oh, okay, you can got this too. Let's go with this guy, because it's whatever. Uh, okay, wait, can you pick... Okay, I get to, get to pick these two tracks. Okay, uh, let's go three laps, why not? 
show the yeah, canyon. Let's go for this. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the controls. At least they bothered to tell you how the controls work in this game, which is nice. But, you know, like I said, I have this game. So, you know, I kind of know how to play it already. And as you can see, the controls are not terribly complex. It's just, you know, you know, X square, you know, the direction buttons, and L2 and R2 for the tricks. That's really about it. But you'll see. Um, yeah. Let's go! Let's... Actually, I think we have to replace the audio for this one, to be honest. Because I think the music in this is licensed, so, yeah. Let's go for this. Yeah. As you can see, you get points with destroying stuff, which is pretty awesome. Oh. Just... Oh, running voice sample in this game, instantly. <laughs> uh, I always love that, just falling off the sled like an idiot. No, don't skip the frame, just stupid recording thing. Just try this again. See if I can not look like a complete idiot this time around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. Stress again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to replace the music for this, I think. Because I don't think I'm going to get away with playing this. But whatever, I'll just play some of my own stuff over it. By some of my own stuff, I mean some of like, you know. You know. Let's try to see if I can win this. Try to see if I can win big. Which is probably a big no. Oh, we okay. Oh, we're now stayed on. Nice. As you can tell, I'm not the greatest at this game. You know. But yeah, I like this game. It's just, you know, it's a game play every now and then. I mean, it's like a lot of racing games, really, you know. The only ones I really invest a lot of time into were, like, Gran Turismo and, like, uh, I guess Colin, Colin McRae games. Ooh. Hey, shortcut. <laughs> Oh yes, 400 points, baby. Yeah, hey you stupid. Yeah, I'm not really going for the points, I'm just trying to see if I can win the race, because, you know, do it to see that I can. Oh, well, that wasn't a lot of points. Was... Yeah. Take this, Mr. Guy, in first. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna use the shortcut again. And not mess it up this time. Okay. <sighs> See if I can do a trick and not mess it up really badly at some point. But you know what I'm like. It's... As you can see, the AI is no slouch in this game, because they do actually... So that's one thing that I've noticed about a lot of racing games is they don't bother using shortcuts or anything. So it's like once you've got once you've found the shortcuts, you can just ace the races a lot of the time. It does amuse me how lame the voices are in comparison to like the music playing in the background. I mean, not you'll be able to hear anyway. Okay. No, I'm not gonna be able to catch the going first. Wait, no. I'm gonna have to do this. Wait, no. Yes, I win! Nice. I didn't get that many points, though, but whatever. I won, so, meh. <laughs> Actually, do we get to play the other track, or does it just end the demo after, this, after the other one? Yeah, as you can see, the other players got a lot of points, as you can completely see. Uh, oh, okay, I can play the other course. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, quick race. Does it go back to the main menu afterwards, or? Okay, I'm guessing it does, but I'm also. Because I know there's like another track on this you can select, so I want to see if I can pick that one. 
and yeah, I can't switch off the music, I don't think so. I mean, I would switch off the music, but seeing as I can't, uh, you know. So let's go for the other one. Oh yeah, so let's play indeed, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So yeah, let's have a look at Super Snow Cross. Because, I mean, you know, if I particularly like a game, you know, I might get to play all the stuff on it. As long as it doesn't go back to the main menu afterwards or whatever. Or if, like, I don't have it on any of a disc. Yeah, like Jinx, for example. So I'll see what this is like. Okay. And I do apologize if there's no sound during this part, or, you know, no sound coming from the game at least. But, you know, it's just the way it is. You know, I just gotta fix. Actually, actually, no, I couldn't think. Yeah, you can mute the music in this. Yay, now you can't hear the sound effects. So now you can hear the sound effects. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I might have knocked someone else off the sled. That makes a difference. Uh, big bumpy ride, this one. Yeah. Oh. Of course, I'm not doing any more voice samples now. <laughs> Oh, actually no, there's... Okay, the other guy had vo voice samples, and apparently... I don't know if the took... Ooh. Okay, so I got a lot of points with that. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I've already got... Okay, I've already got, like, nearly as many points as I did last time. It's pretty sad. <laughs> so, I mean, last time I got, like, what, 1,800 points, I think? And I'm already... Near, I'm already above that, and I'm only on lap one. Shows how badly I did last time with these tricks. Yeah. Oh, ten, ten, no yeah. Okay, I'm sure this. Okay, why doesn't there have any voice samples? Like, like, yeah. I think the other guy, he has voice samples, but no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sucked. Okay, let's go again. Ooh. Actually, I think the reason I'm doing better on this one is just because a lot more jumps than you could. Yeah, there's a lot more opportunities to do this stuff and pop up. No! What the hell's going on? <laughs> that was kind of weird. No! I don't know what happened there. Ooh. That sucked. I'm getting a lot more points this time, though, even if I'm sucking at the race. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously you don't get the points if you do that. Let's do this again. Oh. Just, yeah, you got to get really big air in order to do that one, I think. So that's one thing to keep in mind, is like, which tricks you do, like, when. Yeah, like that. Got 100 points for it, but whatever. And as you can see, I'm really sucking at the race. Well. Yeah, there we go. Got some points, please. Yeah. Alright, let me do this. Just. <laughs> I like that you can just knock the other players off. It's pretty awesome. Can I at least get 5,000 points on this? That'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I'm gonna try not to do that other move that keeps that keeps screwing up last time. Or you know, earlier, whatever. Oh, bugger. Okay, keep, uh, it's probably, okay, and I know this one's supposed to have some voice samples by now, so I think the demo just kind of screwed up. Stop playing it. It kind of, well, it kind of sucks. Okay. And I think we're to finish this race. Let's see. Yeah, because I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. And I win again! Even though I was sucking at one point, but whatever. I win, so, meh. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, the other guy had like voice samples and yet this woman doesn't, I don't really get that. And as you can see I, well, I just barely lost on points, so you know. But I won the race so I guess it kind of evens out. But uh, I just caught out of the game. I mean I've probably got, I mean, 
yeah, I think I've got some of demo. I think, I think it's on like demo fifty four, I believe, something like that. Um, but I'm not going to be playing that one anytime soon because I'm focusing on like these really high numbered discs. So yeah. Okay, so that's, yeah, just quite out of this. I think there's another game after this, I think. And yeah, I quite like this game. Uh, it's definitely, it's you know, if you like racing games, definitely get it. If you like you know, games where you like do tricks and stuff, then you should also get it. Basically, it's games you should get really, <laughs> in my opinion. But uh, let's see, Tenchu Two. I don't know. I've played the first one, and I'm, I can tell right now I completely suck at the first game, and I've never played this one, so yeah. Because I know what this game is like, it's just, you have to, you know, it's like you're a ninja and you're supposed to, like, hide and all that. And I'm not very good at, well, I'm certainly not good at the first one anyway. I mean, I've played this one, but... I don't think this is going to go well. Okay. I can see this one's going to go really terrible. <laughs> I can just feel it, because, like I said, I sucked at the first game. And I don't see this one being any better, because I think this is going to be more the same as far as the gameplay goes. But let's see. Hold up. Your time is at hand. <sighs> I've got that acting. Uh, okay. Okay, climb trees with grappling hook. So I'm guessing... Okay, we get to select the items. So let's see. Healing potion. Could do with that. Okay. See what this is. So I'm trying to see what these items do. So apparently there's like grappling hook. Uh, okay. Okay, why would you even have that unless you were going to give it to an enemy? Just, of course, if you try to give it to an enemy, they'd just kill you anyway. Okay. Dead throw weapon. And, okay, stuff like that. Just take a few more healing potions. So, okay, apparently you can't. Uh. Oh, can't take. Oh, on. Okay, apparently I can't take that one. Which kind of sucks, so I want to use that. Okay, so apparently there's those certain items I can have. Apparently. Yeah, so apparently I'm going to have to use these. Oh, okay, I see this, like, limited amount of stuff you can have. Oh, I get it. Uh. Okay, well, I don't understand this, like, why even, like, give you the option to select stuff if you can only, like, select certain things anyway, and you can select it with all the things you can have. It just seems kind of odd. Yeah, so they may as well just give you that by default, really. But whatever. Uh, I mean, I'm going to suck this game godless, so... Okay. How the controls work in this. Okay, we'll pause in the game, just does that. Uh, oh, okay, you can select stuff with... Okay, I see, you can select stuff with uh, L2 and R2. So let's see. Okay, we've got the grappling hook, and we've got some other stuff. Uh, let's go with the knife. Or the knives, whatever. I'm guessing you should throw them at the enemy. Uh, so let's see what this stuff does. Because, okay, X jumps, circle. Okay, circle gives you a handshake, I guess. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> okay, the scrub button gets you a sword. How do you put that back? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to waste that. Okay, so yeah, this is feeling quite a lot like the first one. I, I never played these games back in the day, and I can tell you right now that if I had played these, I would have sucked just as badly at them as I do now. And get the hell in. 
Ha! Oi, oi, bugger. Oh, I see, I think the circle one blocks. I suppose this kind of reminds me of nightmare creatures, except in nightmare creatures I can actually get somewhere. I mean, this is just kind of... The, the controls, in my opinion, feel really clunky. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm... I mean, as you can tell, I suck at this game, but... Yeah, you know, this just could be like a million people sent to kill me or something. Yeah, it's kind of pointless having the items if you can only... Like, because you can really only fight the enemies in, like, close range, and it's like... You know. And, okay, and they just turned around for no reason. Like, how do you even turn around? I have no idea. It's like, he just does it randomly. And, yeah. I don't really care, you know, that I suck at this game. Because, frankly, I don't really care to get any good at this one. I mean, maybe it's a good game. It's just... Meh. You know, it's like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't really care. Let's go back to menu, please. Because I don't really... I, it's like I said, I mean, I don't really care to get any good at these games. And that's the problem I have with them. It's like, you know, it's like a good game should make you want to get good at it. And Tenchi really just doesn't. It just makes it feel like, you know, the controls just aren't very good, in my opinion. And that's the problem I have with it, and it just, you know, it's meh. Boogie Wonderland, let's see what this is. I'm guessing this is just going to be like that other video, where it's just some random clip of, like, someone dancing at home, or something like that. Presumably, uh, but we'll see. see yeah, this is exactly like the uh, last one, I guess. <laughs> Cutting up the map, that'd be, uh... <laughs> Imagine if I was literal, that'd be a waste of money. We well, gotta love the subtitles as well, just like... Uh. So apparently if you won, like, the semi-final, you just, like, win, like, a few, like, like, some food. It's so, like, I could just go 99p stores and get the same thing. <laughs> For, like, two pounds. But whatever. Kind of amused me is that they kind of, is that they actually dubbed over the, the sound in this one. But whatever. Who has a disco ball in the room? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Apparently they have a much better quality camera than the other person did. Oh yes. I mean, oh no, I think really what this suggests is that they're really desperate for content. Like when that includes stuff like this and like Gold of the Month and stuff. You know, because like they couldn't actually find any like games to include. Cause I think the last game that they had on these discs was like, uh, what was it? Like Jinx, I think was like the last new game that appears on these demos, I believe. As far as I know, at least. I mean, maybe there were one or two of us after, but it's like these discs that I've got. I mean, they have no new games. I mean, the featured game on here is Dance of Stage Party Edition, and that was on demo ninety one. So. Yeah, Final Fantasy 7, uh, yeah, I'm gonna spoil this for you right now, uh, this and Final Fantasy 8, these are not playable, they literally just decided to reuse some videos from, like, earlier demos, which, I mean, I couldn't say I'm reusing, like, playable demos, but it seems odd that they would reuse, like, videos, it just seems kind of weird to me, and, okay, I think this is the same video that was on, uh, what was it, the sampler, you know, the PlayStation sampler attack recently, yeah, it's the exact same one, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is the exact same video. Um, actually, I'm not sure if this is the same video that appears on 9 Volume 2. I mean, I am not around to playing that one yet. I'm going to look at it just out of interest, just see if it is the same video that appears there. But, yeah, I've seen this already, so this is really nothing new to me, because, yeah, I've already seen this video. And, yeah. And, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'm not really a fan of this game. I mean, I'm certainly not going to say it's a bad game, it's just, you know. I'm not really into these sort of games. Um, but, you know. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I'm really not the sort of person to critique this sort of game. Actually, I say that, I'm really not the sort of person to critique anything, really. But, uh, yeah. 
But as you can see, new graphics of 3D appearance. I don't know, honestly, I seem to remember the graphics like, like the cutscenes look really good, but I don't know, it's like when you're walking around, you know, like the overworld or whatever, it doesn't really look like great in my opinion. But that's just me, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. That's what I think anyway. I mean, but yeah, I will say this about the game. The soundtrack is awesome. I can say that without any shadow of doubt. It's just I don't really care for the gameplay personally. But yeah, I definitely listen to the soundtrack at the very least. You know, so it is... I'm not sure if I would buy the game for the soundtrack, so I'm not sure... I mean, I'm not even sure if you could just listen to it on a CD player. I, I kind of doubt it, to be honest. But Because, I mean, there's a number of games where it's like... You can like, listen to the soundtrack on a CD player, and that's pretty awesome. Like, the first three Ridge Racer games. And, uh... I'm trying to what else... Like they've got like, like there's a few Doom tracks you can listen to on CD player, like like the PlayStation version, like uh, like that Club Doom track, <laughs> it's, insane, it's like insane stuff. And yeah, I'm talking over this stuff just in case I have to replace it, because I mean I've been testing to see if the Final Fantasy VII video comes with like match content, but I haven't actually checked back with it yet. But anyway, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, I haven't actually seen this video yet. Although it's funny is I did get a playable demo of this pretty recently. Um, although it's not on like a you know, multi-game demo like this. It's just like a demo on its own. But what's funny is it did come with the uh, official PlayStation magazine apparently. I don't know which demo it came with. I mean it's probably like 51 or 52 something like that. I'm guessing. I could, be, I could easily be wrong. Maybe it just came with its own magazine. I Let's see Final Fantasy VIII. Well, I'd definitely say the graphics are better in the cutscenes, but again, this was made like two years after Final Fantasy VII, so you probably expect that. So yeah. Uh, I've never actually played this one, to be honest. I mean, I might look at the playable demo just out of interest, but yeah, after, I mean, after I've played this demo, I mean, I haven't looked at it yet. But you know. As you can see. I mean, to be honest, it kind of sucks that they didn't include the playable demo. I mean, because if the playable demo of that game was on, like, a demo disc in this series, that would be pretty awesome. I mean, even though I'm not a big fan of the game personally, it would be pretty awesome for them to do that. Because I know there's a few RPGs that appear on, like, these demo suit, these demo discs, sorry. You know, and it'd be awesome to see this, you know. I mean, I'm sure if there was anything else. So I'm trying to think what other ones. There was like Grand Stream Saga and uh, I was about to say Alundra, but no, I think Alundra was a video. Alundra was actually a really good game, but you know, um, in my opinion, anyway, you know, I really like that game. But then that's like an action RPG. It's kind of, to me, it kind of feels like a, it. Action RPGs feel like almost like a different genre to turn-based ones. But that's just me. Anyway, we have also got the downloader. Uh, I think this has. I think it says like some for Final Fantasy VIII on here, but I might be wrong. Um, let's just have a look anyway, because yeah, you know, I do like show off these, you know, this download stuff just to see what they have, even though it's not really that interesting to be honest. But you know, it's worth showing if it works. Okay, I think it crashed. Great. Oh, great. We have to. I'm just going to have to reset the PlayStation for this. Fine, I'll do it. Which sucks I have to reset the PlayStation for this last thing, but you know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it might be worth it if you know, it had like, you know. I'm not very sure. I mean, maybe if it was like an invincibility cheap potential or something, it'd be kind of worth it just so I can actually get somewhere in that game. <laughs> but yeah, I doubt this. Well, maybe there's a cheap for it in the game, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, like I said, I don't really care to get any good at Tenchu, because it's just, you know, i got bare games to play. <laughs> games take a lot less time to learn. I mean, it really doesn't help that I didn't get the manual with it. Like, my copy doesn't have the manual, which really sucks. Because, like, you really need the manual to play something like Tenchu. It's like, I can actually try it out, like, I forget if they called it the tutorial, the train or whatever. It really isn't a tutorial at all, it's just, it kind of sucks. It's just like some random level they're thrown in. 
pretty much. I don't really explain how to play the game in it, I'll tell you that much. But as you can see, uh, download save games. There's not a lot of stuff on here, actually. It's just six games. Uh, Spur 2 and... Uh, well, you can read all those for yourself. So yeah, Spur 2, 99% complete. I don't know. <laughs> Did they miss some gems or something? I don't really know that. Uh, I mean, because I've got this, I've got Resident Evil 2 and Apes Odyssey. I never played Castlevania. Uh, I'm assuming it's Symphony of the Night, but I'm I could be wrong. I mean, I know there's also Castlevania Chronicles, but I'm guessing it's Symphony of the Night, since that's like you know the famous one, kind of. But then. Of course, it doesn't tell you here. It just says Castlevania. Um, I mean, I mean, I don't have Symphony of the Night. I mean, I would get it, but you know, I do not have a lot of money, and it's like you know, I don't want to spend like hundred quid on a game. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> and as you can see, just you know, cheats and stuff. Basically, you can read it for yourself. I'm not going to bother reading it for you because I'm not that sort of person. But anyway, this was. The official UK PlayStation Magazine Demo 96, also known as Euro Demo Future 96, and a very mixed selection of games. I mean, Cricket 2000 sucked. Band Stage Party Edition was kind of meh, in my opinion. Future Cop LIPD is awesome. Incredible Crisis, I really want to get that game now, actually. Judge Dredd is kind of meh. You know, it's a quite good game, so whatever. Mission Impossible, I don't really know what to say about that one, it's just kind of meh as well. Sled Storm is good. Tenchu 2, I, I suck at it. And then you got a bunch of videos that were just thrown in. I mean, I kind of wish that they just got rid of all this stuff and just put a playable demo of Final Fantasy VIII in it or something. Because like I said, there is a playable demo of it, so I don't know what they didn't just include that. But anyway, overall it was a mixed demo. I mean, there's a few really good games on it, but overall, meh. Anyway, I will see you later, people. See you.